Remote third-party vendor access has always been important, but never more so than in these current times. Today, in this video, we're going to show you how you can use the Syrian PAM to audit and control those third-party vendors and give them a great user experience. So this is the user experience that the third-party vendors will go through. They point their browser at a URL of your choosing within your own domain, and they get presented with a branded logon screen. From here, they put in their username, their password, and you can also set up MFA or multi-factor authentication to give that extra layer of security. Once logged in, the vendor will see a list of all the devices and tools that they can use to access the systems that they need to support. They've got a nice search box at the top here where you can clearly search for the different types of systems they need to access. So in this example, I'm going to find uh, an Ansible server I've got and I want to make an SSH connection to it. So I search for Ansible and SSH and I'm going to use the, use the user Kev to log in. Clicking on that tool now opens up my connection to the device. I need to accept the terms of use message so you can put a disclaimer or a, a legal statement in there for your third parties. And now I've got my connection to my device. Here the various commands are being run that a third party would do. Here we're doing a bit of an update on the server. And there we are done. Exit that connection and that's the end of their session which has all been audited and recorded within the Assyrian PAM. So another feature of the Assyrian PAM is the ability to require the third parties to request approval for access to a particular system. So here we are searching for our domain controller and we want to have remote desktop access to it as administrator but the entry is greyed out. So what the third party needs to do is request approval here, put in the time they want access for, so we'll put in for two hours and they can put a comment in here as to why they want the access maybe add a ticket reference or an incident reference in there as well. They then request that access. That then sends an email alert to the configured approvers within the Assyrian PAM and those approvers can then go in and see that request. So here we see the request we see the time and the expiry time that the user's requested, who requested it, the device, the details of the connection, etc., and their comment they made. So now the approver can approve this request by clicking the Approve button there on the right. And here the entry that was greyed out is now made active, can now be clicked, and the user can now make their connection. So they accept the terms of use message again for this connection. And now we have a remote desktop connection, again being recorded and audited by Assyrium as the connection flows through. Third party does whatever they need to do on this here. They're opening up the event viewer, having a look at some of the events in the event viewer. They now go to the services and stop and start a service. And then they exit the system. All audited and recorded by PAM. All of their activities nicely audited. With the Syrian PAM, you can also offer your third party vendors just a single application to do the jobs they need to do. So here's an example of opening just SQL Management Studio without a full desktop connection to the server. Single sign on performs automatically and the vendor can now do the work they need to do on the database without that level of server access. So say now we want to go and review what our third parties have been doing. From the admin side, we can go into the device access report and this shows us all the connectivity and activities people have been doing through the system. We can go in here and search for a particular device. So we'll look here for our SQL database. There's various information on 
the connection, we can open up the recording and we can now review what was done within that particular session. And there you have it. Remote third-party vendor access managed and secured with a Syrian PAM and with a great user experience. If you'd like to hear more, please get in touch.